Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the new features available in version 2021.4 of the Z1 Analyzer. Uh, as you all know, the Z1 Analyzer is our telemetry analysis application and it's aimed at helping you, the driver, become faster over the course of your race. Uh, we're going to put timestamps in the video and in the description below. So if you want to jump ahead to a particular item that you're interested in, please feel free to do that or just watch the video all the way through to get them all. Also, our Discord channel is a great resource. The link is below, so we highly recommend that you join that. So with that, let's get started. All right, so here we are in the Z1 Analyzer, and again, we're using version 2021.4. Uh, we have several laps open and just a standard layout of some traces. So uh, we're going to talk about analysis screens. Uh, in the previous versions, you could display analysis screens by going to this menu and selecting the one, the one you want to view. Uh, but you can only view one at a time. So in this version, you can view multiple ones at a time. So if I want to use the overview and also say a speed comparison, I can display these um, just as I would any other object. This allows you to uh, incorporate these into your layout uh, as you want, uh, just as they were, you know, a scatter plot or a histogram or whatever. And uh, this gives you more flexibility of, of laying out what you want to see and when you want to see it. Okay, so next we're going to talk about the lap overview analysis, this one. Again, this is available here, choosing analysis lap overview. Uh, this has been improved for this version. Uh, as you can see here, the driving line. So previously, all we showed was a little um, uh, thumbnail of the track and where the particular turn was when we gave advice on what's going on. Uh, but now we're also showing a zoomed in part of the track map and your line through that particular corner. So as you can see here, the advice is that this is pretty good, but you just barely, barely miss the apex. So that's right. Here's what we're talking about. You're not quite on that white line. Uh, and this is the same for all of them all the way down uh, in the driving line. This makes this part of the uh, uh, lap overview uh, more useful. So hopefully that's a place that you can go to and look at your driving line and see what's going on. Uh, next is the track walk. So let's close these guys and do the track walk analysis. So the track walk is a great place to go and just get information about what a turn in a track is like. So you can do it by clicking on any of these turns. So if you're interested in turn one, you click on turn one and it gives you information here on the right. Uh, and previously, as soon as you moved the track, this would disappear, but now uh, it stays here until you click the X. Uh, and it's the same thing for turn two. And you can move in and zoom out and this information will stay here. Um, so this makes it easier to use uh, this track walk feature and to see what's going on. It's a great place to start and just get information about, you know, the characteristics of a turn before you go driving to see, you know, what should you be doing when you're in that turn. Uh, one other thing we're going to talk about uh, is this show instructions. This is here now for all of the analysis screens. If you click on it, it tells you um, basically an overview of what this particular analysis screen is and any other interesting information that you might want to know about that screen. Um, I'm going to, and then do click hide instructions to, uh, to hide it. Uh, and that's there for all the analysis screens. Okay, so next, let's just close this. Another part of the analysis screens, uh, this is great on the driving line, is how you can zoom in. So um, in, uh, previously you can zoom in and you still can using the mouse wheel, uh, or you can use these uh, buttons up here to zoom in and out. But now you can also zoom in using the control click and uh, dragging. So if you wanted to look at just this part of the track, for example, you could control click and drag out this square, and then you'll, zoom, you'll be zoomed in right to that. Uh, and you can go in as much as you want, uh, in as much detail as you want. So this is a great way to quickly zoom in on a part of the track. And then again, double clicking takes you all the way back out. Uh, the control click uh, can be customized. So if you want to uh, zoom in based on either just a regular drag or a control drag, you can choose that in the settings under the control tab. So talking about settings, let's check out that dialog. So we go to file and we go to settings. This is the new settings dialog. It's been updated to meet the new look and feel of what we're using in the Z1 software. So you have all your tabs on the left and all your information here on the right. Uh, and uh, again, this makes it easier to see. And there are a lot of uh, settings, so this is a better way to look at them. 
Um, that control tab we were talking about is right here, and you can choose what these options do uh, in this part of the settings. And another thing we want to look at is on the display uh, tab. So you can now choose the font that's used in the Z1 analyzer, as well as font sizes for various things. So the uh, general application font is the default uh, one that Windows uses, but you can change this to anything that's on your system. And this is used here, you know, where we do titles or write information uh, throughout the analyzer. You can also choose the font size. So we have the title, which is, you know, a gear or a lap data or whatever it is. The XY, which is any number appearing here on axis within a trace or in a scatter plot or histogram. Um, the sector font size. So here it says sector one right here. Uh, you can adjust the size of that. And then the text font. So this is just any text sort of throughout the application that would be used. So as an example, if you decided you wanted to have bigger titles, you can change this to 20. I'm going to click OK. The titles here are obviously much bigger. Um, I'm going to go back and I'm going to change this back to 12 to how it was. Um, so this allows much more flexibility in uh, adjusting what you want um, to make it things easier for you to say. Uh, Another thing we're going to talk about is this new auto scale here. So in previous versions of the analyzer, when you change the size of the whole window of the analyzer, everything scales to um, as, as you move that window. So if you had something which took up 50% of your display when you made the window bigger, it still took up 50%. It just got bigger or smaller, depending on what you did. In this version, that's no longer the case. If you adjust the size of the window, you just get more space. So you can add in more items without having the other ones move. Um, however, if you liked that previous style where things did scale, you just turn on auto scale. And now when you adjust windows, everything will move uh, in relation to whatever size of the new window is. Uh, this was part of a bigger um, update of the graphics. All the graphics have been uh, overhauled in the analyzer to make the display crisper, uh, especially working on different size monitors, uh, because Windows now allows for a lot more scaling and there are 4K monitors and things like that. So this brings the analyzer uh, up to date with being able to use it on uh, those displays and still have the display <coughs> be um, a crisp and easy to view display. So uh, a couple of other options that have been added. If we go to live telemetry, um, this is where you can choose what options you have for when you're viewing live telemetry in the analyzer. We're going to scroll down to the bottom and we're going to look at this Hertz target. So this allows you to choose um, the rate of data sampling that will happen when you're in live telemetry. Uh, by default, uh, it's off and it just samples as fast as possible. Uh, but if you have a situation where you want to have it at a specific speed, you can set it to whatever that might be. So if you choose 60, for example, this will attempt to uh, sample data at 60 times a second. Uh, we generally suggest using it as off unless you have a specific reason not to, but it's there um, to allow you to customize things if it suits your system uh, better than the default off uh, option. All right, another thing, going back to the display tab, um, we can choose to turn on and off now, here it is, the minimum, max, and average displays within a trace. Uh, so that's this bit right here. It says min, max, and average. If I uncheck this and I exit, now those are no longer displayed. Uh, but I do want them there. So I'm going to come back, go to the display, and choose show min, max, average. Uh, another thing we've added to the min, max, average is this little um, icon right here. If you click this, now you'll see that we have a cursor as well as min-max. So this actually shows you the value at whatever the cursor point is. Uh, and this is done on a per trace um, basis. So it's on here, but this one I'm just showing min-max, and this one just min-max. So for example, if I click here, now this one also shows what the value is at the cursor. And if you click it again, you just get the cursor value and no min-max. Uh, and then again, you get back to the beginning. So these are three options that allow you to customize what is displayed in the minimum, maximum, and average part of the traces. All right, and the final thing we're going to talk about is layouts. So if you go here, File, Open Layout, uh, not only have we redone the layout window to bring it up to the new look and feel, we've added in default layouts. So uh, 
If you are new to the analyzer and you don't have any layouts saved, you will see these default layouts here. And these are here to sort of get you started uh, and give you some base layouts that you can use as you go ahead and use the Z1 analyzer. So if you've already saved your own layouts, those will take precedence over these. Uh, and that would be why you don't see these default layouts. So it basically shows you the defaults if you haven't saved any, but if you have saved layouts, then it will show you your previously saved layouts. So uh, those are some of the new features in version 2021.4 of the analyzer. Hopefully this has been a useful video. Uh, and these features are there, just like we said before, just to make it uh, more customizable and more user-friendly to use the Z1 analyzer for all your telemetry needs. So um, please like and subscribe to the video and check out the Discord channel. It's in the link below. And if you don't already have the Z1 analyzer, that also download link is in the description below. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.